Okay, this is my quick demonstration on how to use the Sakura Quickie Glue pen with the multi-purpose tool in your click and cut in order to do journaling on your cards or your papers. To begin, you need your multi-purpose tool and you need your Quickie Glue pen. What you do when you remove the cap, a lot of people notice it's not going to fit inside. But what you need to do is with a pair of pliers, remove the inside, set the pen holder aside, and then take the pen and actually now it'll fit inside the holder. It'll fit really well. Screw the side in and then put it into your holder. Now you don't want to push this all the way down. You want to look at it and make sure that it's sticking above your paper otherwise the glue will just pull across. So I have it about a quarter of an inch above the surface of the paper. I don't know if you can see it there. My settings are pressure at 180 or 190. You're going to have to play with it and my speed is set at 75. Once you're in a good place, tighten the screw and then you can go ahead and start. I've started by putting the word happy on my click and cut software and now I'm going to hit cut after changing my cut settings to pen tool, not knife. What's happening right now is the glue pen is pushing down and it's leaving glue where otherwise you would be cutting. That's done. So I'm going to move this aside and I'm going to bring the paper out. I don't know if you can see it, but there's the word happy. Okay. And then what I did is I sprinkled a little glitter on one that I did earlier and this is how it turned out. And there you can see my little two test squares, but there's the word happy and you're good to go. If you find that you're smearing, if your, your um, glue is smearing or it's not down enough, you're going to need to play with the position of the tool holder. But in the end, it's a really quick and easy way to do journaling or to add just that little extra punch to your cards.